problem with the protein, a lot of people, they eat more protein than what they need to utilize it for muscle building. Laying around all day eating steaks and, uh, uh, and chicken and so forth and so on overwhelms the body's kidneys and liver because it's not designed to be used that way. The body cannot handle it that way. So you get lethargic. A lot of people get lethargic that overuse protein. But if you're active, you can overdose, overdose some protein. Because the body will become very efficient in what it uses and what it flushes out. And that's one of the reasons they tell you, even not telling people exactly why, the oh, three, four, five, six times a day. Because once your body digests the food it takes in, right after that it begins to go into the starvation mode and it gets rid of the nitrogen. And the nitrogen levels drop and drop and drop. To maintain it, you got to eat again. To maintain it. See, with steroids, you don't necessarily have to eat again because it holds it in the muscle. So they tell you to eat often so you maintain what's called positive nitrogen balance. And really that's the key to all muscle growth. Now when you take a lot of protein, you must remember, protein is an antagonist to calcium. So you've got to make sure you get a lot of calcium because it, it, it'll leach the calcium out of your system and it'll get you of guys get uh, stiffness in their joints because of that. Uh, but the most important thing with protein is if you want to build your body and you neglect the protein, you're going to be very, very, very unhappy. You're going to become frustrated. A lot of people think the more they train, the better. No, the more you train, the more protein you need. Because protein is essential for recovery. Without it, there's no recovery. There's no muscle recovery. And you've got to keep that in mind. So when I, when I was training, everything was hit and miss. Experimental. We wasted a lot of years trying to find out what worked. I remember one time we used to eat a lot, drink a lot, of, eat a lot of honey. We found it didn't work. You know, our blood sugar went up and down and up and down. Didn't build muscle. But we noticed that when we, I noticed primarily that when I ate more protein, my muscles just seemed as like amazing. It's like almost you mean pumped with ear. You know, it's a. I was like, what? I, I couldn't figure it. I thought it was the training itself, but it was more than just the training. Because I wasn't doing anything other guys were doing. I was doing a lot of sets. But I noticed that it was, I trained hard and I just kept growing. And I was like, wonder why I was growing. So I was like looking at myself and I said, I'm growing so much ahead of the other guys. Because I was obsessed with stacking in the protein only because my instinct told me, you know, uh, when you ate that steak, you know, I noticed when I ate the steak, I felt pumped up. And the body's like a, 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 a sponge. It soaks it up, you know, when it needs it. And when it needs it. It's like a piranha. It just soaks up that protein and put it into the muscle. And I know when I ate this, so we used to eat, uh, I used to eat at least, oh, I'd say two pounds of steak a day. Because every day, we, we trained four days, so the restaurant was around the corner. It's a French Romanian restaurant where they sell the steak steaks very cheap in those days. A couple of dollars for two pounds. And just go after after um, uh, training, and we used to get that every time after training. And then we'd have uh, some shrimps and stuff like that. But the most important thing was the steak. A lot of eggs, milk. We drank too much of. That we did. We made a mistake. Milk is not a high source of protein per volume. Nor is eggs. They're good foods, especially eggs. But it's a, it's per volume. It's a low source of protein. But protein is the key. And if you don't get enough protein, you're going to be very frustrated. I see it all around. I see guys come in very frustrated. I ask how much they're oblivious of the, of the action of protein. They don't even realize that protein is essential to muscle build. They think uh, a salad is, will build them just the same or a bowl of fruit as protein. No. You need the minerals and everything for a perfectly healthy body. But without protein, nothing works. So if you have a minimal amount of protein, 
you're going to be very, very unhappy with your response to your body. So the most important thing, think one gram of protein per pound of body weight. It may seem like a, a big uh, goal, but a tough goal to go after, but a uh, can of tuna is 45 grams of protein. A uh, pound of steak is about 60, 65 grams. Uh, uh, you get a protein. That's what's so good about protein drinks. High protein, low mass. See, because eating becomes a bit of a chore sometimes. you got to eat all the time. So you get a one, eight, ten ounce drink of protein. That's equivalent to eating eight, nine eggs. Nobody eat nine eggs. Eggs is a great food, but it's too much volume. But you get a protein. So that's why with your protein, you want to maximize your protein. Try to get a couple of protein drinks in between your regular diet. Not instead of, but included into your diet. And that's the, and you, the, 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 the um, response is dramatic. It's dramatic. You'll notice how the body begins to fill out, how you become stronger. And you know, just try and What you eat today now is what you work out for tomorrow. The body's strange. You ever know you ever went a day and you didn't eat too well? Then the next day you felt, didn't feel no, sort of tired, didn't feel that zip? Because what you eat today prepare you for tomorrow. So remember, and another important aspect of of protein taking is it is to take extra amino acids like glutamine, arginine. It all, it helps to maximize the body's utilization of the protein. Let's see.